today let us listen to the class about thermodynamics you all know what is thermodynamics it is a branch of chemistry which deals with thermo means heat dynamics means movement the heat energy which we supply get converted to mechanical energy that is the basis of thermodynamics and this thermodynamics find application in so many or in various fields of chemistry see for example let us consider automobiles in the case of automobiles what happens the fuel you fed into the combustion chamber gets burned and this produces heat energy this heat energy get converted to mechanical energy and that pushes the vehicle in the forward direction so this is the basis of thermodynamics and there are three important laws of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics and third law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed instead it can be transformed from one form of energy to other form of energy let us consider an example that there is a system say system a it has to change to system b and while this transformation takes place the energy which is associated with system a has to be transferred to system b so when this transformation takes place we can also understand that this energy has not been destroyed simply it gets transferred that is the first law of thermodynamics any thermodynamic system is in an equilibrium state possesses a state variable called internal energy between any two equilibrium state the change in internal energy is equal to the difference of the heat transfer into the system and work done by the system so when the heat energy flows into a system it gets transferred into chemical energy or it gets transferred into mechanical energy or whatever it is various forms of energy we can get mainly from this heat energy so that is the main basis of first law of thermodynamics heat energy get transferred to mechanical work or simply work some sort of energy can be generated from this heat energy this finds application in various industries as far as the second law of thermodynamics is concerned that states that any process which is spontaneous can occur without any external work so if the process is not spontaneous you may have to do extra work to push the process to proceed say for example you consider a cascade of energy or you might have heard of falls waterfalls in the case of waterfalls the water comes down from a higher position to a lower position whereas if this water has to be transferred from the lower region to a higher region you may have to apply pressure you may have to do extra work to bring this water from the lower region to a higher region similarly in the case of systems when the temperature is high and the temperature is low for these state of difference the higher temperature flows to the lower temperature so this give rise to or this establishes a sort of equilibrium between the temperature or the temperature becomes equal by the two system say if t1 is the temperature of one system and t2 is the temperature of the other system these two are said to exist in equilibrium the difference in energy or the difference in entropy can be calculated by the term that is delta s that is equal to delta q by t where this delta s is known as the change in entropy delta q is known as the change in heat content and t is the temperature now the word entropy has been introduced after the second law of thermodynamics this entropy has or entropy can be correlated to that of randomness any process when it proceeds in a random fashion you call it as or we can say that the entropy of the system will be maximum when randomness increases entropy also increases 
randomness and orderliness are inversely proportional to each other randomness increases therefore orderliness decreases with increase in randomness entropy also increases so entropy is a term which was developed after the development of second law of thermodynamics coming to the third law of thermodynamics it states that entropy of a pure crystalline substance at absolute zero is zero so at absolute zero the entropy of any system comes to zero that's the third law of thermodynamics it can be correlated by the formula s is equal to small k ln w and this w refers to the probability or the means of arrangement of the crystals so in an orderly or when the crystal is arranged in an orderly fashion w becomes 1 therefore we can say k ln 1 that become 0 this is the basis of third law of thermodynamics now we have learned what are the various laws of thermodynamics and it is a very vast branch of chemistry which has so many applications in real life as well as in the based upon industries so you being the young researchers you can concentrate more in this thermodynamics and you can excel in this field okay thank you